baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Tanek127, and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And guys, I'm not even trying to get all religious on y'all right now with this one, but man, God is good. <laughs> and I, I mean that in all positive vibes possible. Guys, the impossible has happened. This channel is going to have a hardcore purpose. The dream, the big thing I've been talking about, video after video. Anyone who's been following me since the beginning of this journey on this channel knows what I started for. Valorant console has officially been confirmed. And they had, they announced the trailer, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. To, I was having a bit of a rough day, so when the news got to me, I had people blowing me up on Twitter. I had my buddy Striker, you know, just sending me back-to-back -back clips on Discord. You know, shout out to everybody who pinged me on Twitter and Discord about this news. And, you know, I just, I, I wasn't hearing it at the time because, you know, I just, I wasn't in, in, the, in the best mood. But the hype is there. I'm excited nonetheless. And it looks like the developers have actually made a dev diary that I want, I want to go out and watch today. And the main reason I wanted to watch this is because there were so many people who told me this was impossible and it would never happen. Every time I asked for this under a tweet, there was some, you know, console hating nutbag like, no, it's not meant for console. It won't work. This is a game of precision and aim assist doesn't support that and all, all kinds of stupid stuff. I'm just like, okay. And I don't, no disrespect to Valorant, but the game is literally a hero shooter based on search and destroy. Hero shooters are on consoles. Search and destroy based FPS games are on consoles. So I don't know why people swore this could not be done. But anyway, without further ado, let's watch this dev diary together. We're going to react to it. I'm excited. If you are, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's go. When we first started working on Valorant, we, first started working on Valorant, we had our wild hopes and dreams. That this would be a shooter that everybody in the world could play. Right, I'm going in. I did too. Now it would be something that empowered players' creativity, uh, empowered their expression, and could change how they think about tactical shooters. When I think about how far Val has come as a game, yeah, where's Anna Darwin, man? I want to thank her. Now feels like the right time to bring Valorant to console players. With this console there she version is. of the game, what we were asking for the team to do was actually just be very curious. What maybe started as some amount of skepticism turned into Thank God. And once they have that, then they turned it into a determination that they're going to make something that players truly love. There are components of Val that exist in other games on the console. What Val brings that is maybe different is it's highly tactical combat that has high highs and low lows, allows for a tremendous amount amount of expression from the player and we believe that is a, a combination that players on console are yes it is uh, my name is Ray uh, I go by your boy Dre in game I've had a pro background for five years and I am a part of the Valorant and game analysis team for Riot guys I made a leak video on this they were hiring for this last year I have a previous background in Call of Duty as a professional player I'm also part of the game analysis team at Riot we are just a group of passionate gamers who come together and we just give a, a different look and a different form of insight uh, that designers might not have from our experience as like high level gamers. Obviously controllers are very different from mouse and keyboard, so figuring out how to adapt Valorant to still feel like Valorant on console but through a different control paradigm definitely took a lot of effort. And, was one of our and I'm grateful companies. that they did I that. Remember, there was one specific moment in development when we knew we had it. We play a best of three match on the controller. And one of the teams won, and then the other team's like, no, we're going again. Like, we're not done. Like, we gotta get back out there. And it was this moment of like, oh, people are taking it way more seriously. They're trying to get better. They want to compete and they want to win. To me, that moment of you're not just playing for work, you're playing because the game is really fun is like, oh, we have something. This is what we want players to experience. God, I can't wait. Valorant is a very mouse-focused game. It requires a lot of dexterity. One of the things that we really focused on when we were getting the game to feel really good on controller was to manage the limitations of it. You're trying to move through the environment with your right stick as fast as you can, but you also need to be hyper-precise. Being able to do both of those things with one stick is a very challenging problem. When we first got our hands on Valorant on console, it was a much different experience than we have right now. It was a bit clunky. We needed something to make it easier for players to slow down and hone in on gunfights when they need to. 
think our switch to what we call a focus mode, that was a big turning point for us. That was when I kind of had that click. I felt like maybe this could actually work. It's kind of your button you press before you take a fight. Your sensitivity drops down, you zoom in, you become precise, you should feel like you're about to be accurate when you're trying to hit the shot. We've come really far, you know. Things that okay. seem very impossible, like... So that little icon popping up, that's probably the focus mode thing. Pretty easy to do with practice. What we didn't want console players to feel like they were getting was a watered-down version of the game or something that didn't meet the same level of competition and mastery that we were seeing in the PC. Our gameplay analysis team has extensive backgrounds in both Valorant and console shooters, and that level of nuanced, detailed feedback has enabled us to dial in the game to get it to where This is so amazing. I'm enjoying everything I'm hearing. The designers really uh, did a great job of tweaking every agent individually. Holy crap, seeing Xbox controls on Valorant, that is nuts. This game and everyone brings its own unique set of skills and abilities to the table. I say that, and I'm actually watching this YouTube video on a PS5. controller gives us. Coming from PC, you have like possibly hundreds of inputs on a keyboard. We wanted to make sure that every agent on console felt balanced and considerate of the control scheme. Our ability mapping for agents feels like very intuitive, and being able to gain that mastery over that specific character has been like really rewarding. When we talk about competitive games, one of the most important parts of any competitive game is dialing your settings. Right now, like we're all going through the process of just. I'm ho I'm hoping this launches just like it did on PC. <laughs> I'm hoping they do a beta over the summer and it comes out a few months later. <laughs> Please. All sorts of different console games will be comfortable playing our game, whether that's bumper jumper or something very traditional. You gotta be able to set your settings the way you want them. And we've made sure that players get to customize their controls. However, All the agents are there too. We believe we have built the right infrastructure, the right tooling to really make the promise of the game shine. Valorant is one ecosystem. It doesn't matter what platform you're on, it's one community. We didn't want you to have to go create a new account or to worry about where should I go to progress my battle pass. To us, a part of that is making sure that whenever you log into Valorant, it's your Valorant. We made the very conscious choice of not having cross-play between PC Good. and consoles because we don't want players to have to wonder is the person I'm playing against using a controller or a keyboard and mouse or, or whatever else. When I watch players experience the love of Just let console and PC be separate. Way, and it doesn't matter what hardware they're on. That's how we know we've got it. That's what gives us the courage to launch Valorant to console. I think the thing that makes Valorant really unique is just the global community as a whole. Between the game and the eSport and the cosplay and the music and the music videos and the incredible passion players show in and out of the game. When console players come into the community, they get to experience that same thrill and that same yep. level of play. Make so competitive console Valorant just console. Joining the beta and telling us where are we doing it right. The game has been doing amazing. You guys are just adding, making the community bigger. So that they can help us grow and make this game. That's why I'll never understand why people had an issue with this. All right. So we have everything, all the information actually right here. It's going to be coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, which I believe is the smartest idea. No last gen platforms. Thank God. Even though. The PS4 and Xbox One probably could run Valorant. It is a very um, friendly game with performance. Like even e even my potato PC can run this at 120 plus FPS. <laughs> but they also have a beta as well. I'll leave a link to the beta down in the video description. Guys, let me know. Are you all excited for Valorant console? And if you do, this is going to be the place for it. So if you haven't, subscribe like the video let me know how hype you are down in the comments below i will see y'all in the next one peace out have a good one